Picture this. After months and months of staring at blank pages, not knowing what to paint, and even questioning whether this art thing is really for you, you wake up one day and finally feel inspired again. Before you even sit down to paint, you have this amazing new idea in your mind and you just can't think of anything else. You don't even know where it came from, but you know that you need to get it down on paper as soon as possible. So you put on your comfy painting clothes, brew a cup of tea or coffee and sit down at your desk. And as you pick up your paintbrush and mix up your watercolors, you can picture the end result so clearly in your mind. It's like you can't get the paint on paper fast enough. You're so excited to create that you completely lose track of time. And when you're finished, you suddenly have a dozen more ideas and you can't wait to create them all. Okay, so when was the last time you felt this way about your art? And when was the last time you woke up feeling so inspired that everything else melted away and nothing else mattered except for your painting? If it's been a while, you're definitely not alone. Every single artist experiences creative blocks once in a while. Even though we all want to feel excited to create all the time, it's just not realistic to maintain that level of energy. There are bound to be days when you don't feel like picking up a paintbrush at all. And usually one day is followed by another and then another until you reach a full-on artist block. And that's 100% normal. But because being creative is so tied up in our identity, we sometimes forget that everyone has off days. So we fall into all these negative thoughts spirals. We think that feeling uninspired or uncreative means that we aren't good enough or that our art isn't good enough. But that's not true at all. Because inspiration doesn't make you a good artist. Practice this. If you wait for the stars to align perfectly every time you paint, you're not going to get far. Even if you do feel inspired one day, you'll quickly lose motivation and the cycle will just repeat all over again. What you really need is something a lot more reliable than inspiration or even just motivation. There's a great quote, I write only when inspiration strikes. Fortunately, it strikes every morning at 9 o'clock sharp. I love it. You might think that inspiration is something that just happens to you and that you have no control over it. But actually, you can shape your life in a way that inspiration becomes even a habit. In that way, you can feel confident picking up your art supplies even when you don't wake up with a million ideas waiting to be painted. In this video, I'm going to share some simple tips that will help you to get to that point. So if you've been feeling stuck in a creative rut, never really feeling motivated to paint and missing the energy and focus you had when you first started, then keep on watching because this video is for you. First of all, let's figure out why you've been feeling uninspired. Sometimes a creative block can be a sign that something bigger is going on in your life. There are times when I don't feel inspired because I'm not taking good care of myself, not sleeping enough, not eating well enough, and basically just not looking after my well-being. And when I get back on track, it's amazing how quickly I feel like doing art all over again and just doing all sorts of things. So maybe right now, you know, you've been overworking yourself and feeling burned out or putting self-care on the back burner for too long. I've been there. Bringing back some feel-good habits such as getting enough rest and eating healthy, balanced meals might be exactly what you need to start feeling that spark of inspiration. That simple. But other times you might be going a little bit too easy on yourself and you just have to get up and do the things. If you're not practicing your painting just because you don't feel like it, you have to be really honest with yourself and check in with some of the things you do feel like doing. If you're in the habit of getting up late, eating poorly and binge watching shows for 10 hours a day, it will be hard to feel motivated to do anything else, right? Because you're in the habit of it. You'll just keep doing these things because it just feels easy. You're in the habit of doing all this. Remember, if you live your life following how you feel, 
you will never do anything. The whole idea of not feeling like doing something is usually just your brain trying to talk you out of doing something because it's just harder than the habits and routines you've already got on autopilot. Your brain just pretty much just wants to protect you in a bad way. It will tell you all these stories about why you should stay in bed or why it's a good idea to watch another episode, but it doesn't have your best interest at heart, really. Of course, I know it's a lot harder to show up when you don't feel like it, but if you detach yourself from the idea that all of your art has to be inspired, I guarantee that you will start seeing improvements in your art and maybe even in other areas of your life too. If you really want painting or drawing to be a regular part of your life, then you have to make it as easy as possible to fit into your routine. I like to think of it as creating a lifestyle that supports your creativity. You can start with something easy like your surroundings. Think about the space where you practice painting. Is it cozy and inviting? Does it feel relaxing or do you associate it with work? Are your supplies easily accessible so you can pull them out and start painting anytime you like? Or do you have to dig under your bed for like 10 minutes to get them out? Since art is pretty much my job, I'm lucky enough to have a whole room that I've set up in a way that always inspired me to create. So once I walk through the door, I see my past work on my walls and my tools all laid up so I can just grab anything that I need and start painting. But you don't need an art studio to feel inspired. There are so many simple ways to spruce up your space and make it feel inviting. For example, if you usually paint at your desk, maybe you could light some candles and put some inspiring art on the wall or just flowers, anything else that sparks joy. And if you enjoy painting at the kitchen table, you could create a simple routine where you clear the table, brew a cup of tea or coffee and put some relaxing music in the background before you sit down to paint. It doesn't matter what kind of space you have really, it's just about the feeling it gives you. If it's positive and inviting, you'll want to be there more often. And if you've been working from the same place for ages and you're starting to feel bored with it, why not try to change the scenery? This can be a game changer. As the days get warmer, you could have a relaxing painting day in the garden, balcony, wherever you feel like it, or bring your pencils to the beach and see what you come up with. Even a super simple change can work wonders for your inspiration and make you feel less, less boxed in. So try moving to a different room or even sitting on, a, on the floor while you paint. Just change it up. Trust me, it will make a difference. That's why I usually like to move around things in my room. Even like even when everything is set up, I still want to just change it because my brain just gets bored with it and I need some like, I need to change things up. And while we're on the topic of trying something new, maybe you're just feeling stuck with your art because you've been doing the same thing over and over again and you need a little bit of an extra boost. Everyone is motivated by different things, so once you understand what drives you to create your best art, you can consciously bring more of that good stuff into your life. So think about it, maybe you're the kind of person who really thrives on change and feels most inspired when you're visiting new places or trying new things. So if things in your life have been feeling very stagnant, you might need to add a little bit of spice to your life. You could try working with a new medium for a while or different color palette than you're used to and see what happens. I have a whole video about getting out of your creative comfort zone and I'll leave a link in the description box down below. On the other hand, some people find change really disruptive and thrive on sticking to a specific routine instead. If you find that you always get your best work done in the same place or at the same time, you might be leaving your art down to inspiration right now because you don't have a set time to do it. Putting it loosely in your calendar might help you to show up and create. For example, you can divide your calendar into themes. For example, then you know, on this day I will take care of everything house related. On this day I will paint. So you always feel like 
everything is taken care of and you know exactly when you will paint and when you have to take care of everything else that also kind of needs to get done. And if you're a pretty competitive person and nothing gets you more motivated than a challenge, trying out a new painting challenge might be the perfect way to finally know what to paint and feel inspired again. There are hundreds to choose from on Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube, or you could get creative with a set of your own prompts. If you've always created art for yourself and by yourself, it might be time to even just share your work with other people instead of just hiding it somewhere else. I'm not saying you have to make an art Instagram or start filming YouTube videos, but even sharing your work with your partner or family can give you a confidence boost and inspire you to keep going. Or maybe you might be a person that is a bit of a perfectionist who never gets things finished or even started. So you feel most inspired when you have an account accountability buddy or creative group around you to give you this gentle push. Trust me, there's no better feeling than being surrounded by inspiring people and it just makes you feel good. And there's a reason why painting classes and workshops are so popular. They open you up to a creative community that keeps you accountable and offers you feedback when you feel stuck. It's like having a gym buddy or signing up for a yoga class. Having somewhere to be at a particular time and place gives you that boost of motivation that you need to just show up for your art. That's exactly why I run my watercolor courses or my watercolor retreats every couple of months. Having weekly prompts and positive feedback helps my students to make painting a regular practice in their life, even on days when they don't feel like it. They always tell me that they were actually surprised at how easy it is to just stay creative when other people were doing it as well. So everyone was creating art together. The next retreat is coming up soon in August. And if you're interested in joining us, you can get on the waitlist through the link in the description box down below. I would absolutely love to have you there. Anyway, think about the things that make you feel inspired and create a simple plan around that. Sitting by won't get you very far with your art, so the only way to overcome creative blog is to go right through it. It's simple, really. The more you paint, the more inspired you will feel. These days, I don't really rely on motivation, but I rather focus on self-integrity instead. If there's something I want to work on, even if I don't feel inspired or motivated, I have to show up because that's what I said I would do. It's also a matter of your commitment. I realized I was way too much committed to just working and not giving myself time to recharge and do different things to recharge and like, yeah, recharge my creative tank really. And if you want to be committed to your art and this is your value and the value of self care and creativity, then you need to also move things around and see how you actually are doing things in your life. And I love being able to take charge and really feel committed to my goals and things that I really value. Whether or not you feel inspired right now, you are an artist. So commit to your long-term vision, show up for it consistently, and just get started whenever you feel like it or not. Before you know it, I promise you'll be full of fresh ideas again. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll be back soon with another tutorial for you to practice if you need a little bit of boost of inspiration. And if you haven't painted in a while, make sure to check out my video about getting back into painting next. I really hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.